Hello everyone, Steve Marinucci with another Beatles News Brief. Today is October 25th, 2018, and we have a full slate of news for you. Let's start with the latest updates from the Billboard 200 for the week dated, uh, for the issue dated October 27th. Beatles 1 is now 154 up from 178 from the previous week. Abbey Road is 184 up from 189 the previous week. And both Egypt Station and Imagine, which were on the chart last week, are no longer there and have dropped off. Um, Charity Buzz is auctioning a meet and greet with Paul McCartney uh, on a stop uh, in uh, during his Freshen Up tour. The auction has four days left. The high bid, when we checked it uh, this morning, was $26,000. The winner gets a priority entrance to the show, admission to the sound check, reception, photo op with Paul, and a co commemorative ticket. You can um, get more information and place your bid at www.charitybuzz.com. Uh, Stern and Kapow Pinball announced a new Beatles pinball machine, uh, an update of their game Sea Witch. It'll have four flippers, 11 drop targets, and a play field with a spinning disc and a, and a magnet, and a full-color LCD screen. Um, according to the Beatles store and, uh, and the manufacturer, it'll, only 1,964 units will be made. Um, the pinball will have Beatles music and voices, uh, Ed Sullivan and Cousin Brucey, uh, according to the uh, YouTube promo video that was put out. Um, the Beatles store listed as the very first P Beatles pinball, but that is not true. There were pinballs previously. There was one in 67 called Beat Time. I suspect that was not authorized, um, and it used the Beatles cartoon characters. But anyway, this one is authorized, and uh, it's going to be uh, pretty expensive. Um, no pricing for the pinball machine has been released. But according to one report, it could be the most expensive pinball of all time. Well, anyway. Um, Deadline Hollywood reported that John Mark Vallee will direct and edit the new uh, authorized uh, biopic on John and Yoko that was revealed in February. Hot off the wire this afternoon is the news that uh, the new issue of Beetle Fan number 234 is out with a special section celebrating the 50th anniversary of the Beatles' White Album. For more information, go to www.beetlefan.com. There's a Beatle-themed restaurant called Strawberry Fields in Chesterfield, Michigan. The menu has uh, a breakfast. Uh, the menu has a breakfast menu with sections titled "Polythene Pancakes," in which you can order double pancake fantasy. Um, I feel fine. Breakfast uh, French toast. I am the Eggman. I am the waffle and eight crepes a week. The lunch dinner menu is titled "Just Like Starting Over," where you can order wings over wings across America. There's a section called Fixing a Bowl, Yellow Submarine Sandwich that has Dr. Roberts Rubin, Peter Lane, Maxwell's Silver Hamburgers, and Give Peace, that's P-I-E-C-E, -E, a chance pizza. Okay. Uh, anyway, uh, Abbey Road on the River announced uh, today, October 25th, that it will remain located in Jeffersonville, Indiana for five more years through 2024. It moved there in 2017. Um, on our Beatles News and Information page, people were asking if the new Paul McCartney archive sets had region-free DVDs so that they could buy them anywhere and be confident that they'd be able to play the DVDs in their system because, as you know, DVDs are regioned so that if you buy one, say, in England, you can't play it in the U.S. without a region-free machine. The answer to the question is, yes, they are region-free. We got that information from Paul McCartney's press office, for which we thank them. And so you are able to buy those anywhere, and they will play. Um, 
Looking back in history, October 25th, 1962, the Beatles did their first interview. It was for a hospital radio station in the UK. On October 25th, 1963, in Karlstad, the Beatles began their first tour of Sweden. Um, in 1964, the Beatles won five Ivor Novello Awards from the British music industry. In 1965, they were mixing Drive My Car In My Life, If I Needed Someone, Day Tripper, Norwegian Wood, and Nor Nowhere Man. In 1967, they were recording, mixing, and editing Fool on the Hill and Hello Goodbye. Uh, in 1968, John and Yoko announced that Yoko was pregnant and the baby was, was due in January. However, that didn't happen because Yoko miscarried. Uh, in 1968, also, George Harrison produced Is This What You Want for Jackie Lomax. And in 1974, John Lennon completed the sessions for his rock and roll album. Um... Thank you, everyone, for listening and spreading the word. Uh, thank you, first of all, to Matt Burley of Fab Four Radio, where the show debuted and who helped us come up with the idea. Actually, it was his idea, but okay. Um, uh, and and giving the, the show a, its first spot. Um, we're also on iTunes, Google Play, Spotify, TuneIn, iHeartRadio, Pandora, Stitcher, and Radio.net. Um, and please rate the show on iTunes. We'd appreciate uh, getting some feedback on iTunes. And it would also help us establish uh, the show there. So please, uh, if you would, thank you. You can write to us at BeetleNewsDesk at gmail.com. Again, there's a Facebook Beatles News and Information page where we print information about the show and about everything that's going on Beatle-wise. So it's not just a Beatle News uh, Breaks uh, page. We do, however, have a Beatle News Breaks, the podcast page on Facebook that we uh, print news about uh, the show uh, there. And you're more than welcome to join us there. Um, that's about it for today, folks. Um, thanks for listening and Hello, goodbye, and goodbye, hello. Take care.